My name is John and this is my story. <laughs> <laughs> Born and raised in Montgomery County and I was brought to PG County when I was about 11 or 12. My mom and my dad are still married, been married for almost 35 years and I have a little brother named Jalen. I went to a school in PG County called Duval High School and that's my alumni. I end up going next to Art Institute of Washington. That's where I went to culinary school that graduated in 2015. Duval High School. A lot of people who knew me from then until now, about eight years ago, I was definitely trying to follow trends. I definitely was trying to be all in girls business and trying to be in the latest latest fashion trend and try to do all that type of stuff. I definitely had was having a lot of sex. I was that guy, man. Like my mom caught me a few times, not caught me in the act, but it's been it was I had a lot of close calls. And I, I had girls all over my house. My parents was looking at me crazy. I was lying to them every day. I was uh, that's another thing. I was a big liar. Really big liar back in the day. I was very immature back then. Like, I just was a kid, just really childish. Didn't really know how to assert myself, no confidence, self-esteem was shot. And I just didn't know, really know who I was and what my purpose was, who I wanted to be in life. A man who lacks purpose lacks identity. And I think I just didn't have any type of identity of who I was. I grew up in a church home, so I was trying to live double lives. I was double-minded, so in my house I was one way, and then I would go back in the streets and do another thing, and, and be in the school a different way, and then be in the church a different way. So it was a lot of different people. I was almost schizophrenic, like I had different personalities for every place I was in. I didn't really know how to be myself. The, the, the coming to Jesus moment for me was, I knew once I got to my church that I go to now, High Calling, I tried to do that double-minded, walk that same walk that I walked all my life through. My old church and my, and my household, and something was just standing out to me different. And I feel like I didn't make the choice to come to church because that's not where I wanted to be. I, I was called to it. I was definitely called to it. I had to cut off a few things. I had to cut off a few friends. I had to make a lot of changes because they weren't going, the people that I had in my life weren't going in the same direction. And I, I wanted to keep people around. I wanted to keep the circle tighter, but God had a different plan for me. Son of man, this, this, this business came out of nowhere. The business just literally came to my mind that I could open up a clothing line called Son of Man. From that point on until now, we've had journeys. We've had so many things. So it's been a roller coaster for us. But we're here. We got shirts. We got so many things happening for us. It just, the spirit in me is just way bigger now. It's way different. When I found my identity and my calling, I just focused in on what it is I'm supposed to do and then spreading the word of Jesus Christ all over the DMV, all over the world. The, the rise and the fall of this is just, don't ever quit on what the, the word that God has given us. He's given us all a calling. He's given us all a, a vision. It may not be a business, but he's given us all something. And, and people who hear his voice and listen to it dil diligently, you'll be blessed by it.